Hello everybody and welcome back to this lecture and right now what we will do, as I said in the previous lecture, we will try to make a program that will ask an input from a user for the SHA-1 hash and what uh, we will do then is we will use a password list in order to try to brute force that uh, hashed value and in order to prompt the user back for the password that we found. But we will give a little twist to this, since we will actually use a password list that we get from the internet. So what we will do, we will use two libraries. One of them is the uh, is the URL open library. The other one is the hashlib library. And we will actually try to read the passwords from the internet file. So from the uh, file of passwords that is actually stored on some website. Now, for that file, what we will use is, first of all, we will use the... Uh, some GitHub password list. So let me just find it. I will just type the 10 million password list or 10,000 password list. Doesn't even matter. I believe something will pop up. And all we want to do is actually click on the first GitHub link that we find and go to that password list.txt. We will not download it. We will read it from the internet. So click on the first link right here. Let's just wait for this to open. And we can see right here, this is the link that we will use in order to read the passwords from. As we can see right here, there are the passwords. Oops, let me just... So here they are, they are right here. And we want to read each one of those. We want to hash it to SHA-1 and then we want to compare it to the inputted hash uh, from the user to see if they match. If they do match, we will print that we found the password and we will print the password in plain text. If they don't match, we will just skip and go to the next password. So let us see how we can do that. Let's leave this open. So I will just tab it down so we can open it uh, later on. For now on, what we want to do is just import some of the libraries. So Let's first of all nano a file called sha1 hash.py. Let's make our standard first line to be user bin python and let's import from urlib.request. We want to import URL open since this is the only uh, function that we will use from this library. Now this is a library which allows us to perform the request to the internet pages and in order for us to open the uh, page from the GitHub where we found the 10,000 passwords, we will need this function called URL open. Now, in, uh, next to those two, next to that function, we will also need the hashlib function from the previous video. So let us just import the hashlib as well. So first thing we want to do right now is actually ask for an input for, from the user for a SHA-1 hash. So, so we will call it just SHA-1 hash as a variable equals input. Since we are using Python 3, we will specify input and raw and not raw underscore input. We will just type it like this. So enter SHA-1 hash. Let's set value as well. So we will prompt this to the user. And right after we prompt that to the user, what we want to do is we want to use the function called URL open in order to open the URL from the website that we found on GitHub from the password list that we found on GitHub. So in order to do that, we will specify that in a variable called password list or in a list called password list. What we need to do is actually, first of all, make that a string. So we, since the URL open function will not really return the string, it will return the contents of that actual page. What we want to do is actually uh, make that at the end uh, to be a string. So let us just add the open brackets. And what we want to do is, first of all, copy the the page itself. But you might notice that if you just specify this link, what it will do is it will get the contents of this entire page right here, which we don't really want. What we want is we want to actually uh, get only the passwords from this page. And we can do that by going right here on raw and selecting this link right here. So you can see that the link is the same as before, just right here, it added the raw dot. So if I go one directory back, you can see that the link is identical, just right here, it doesn't have the raw dot and then GitHub. So let's add it, go to that link. We can see we will get into the 
Oops, so it does have something else besides that. Let me just see what. My internet is kind of slow right now, so that's why it is loading this long. Let me just go right here on raw. And there is probably something else missing, but what we want to do is just copy this link, which is from the raw page, where there are only passwords and nothing else. You want to copy that link, then you want to paste it between these brackets. But we actually, before we paste it, we need to use the URL open function. So use the URL open. Oops. Open another, another uh, open and close brackets, add the single quotes, and between the single quotes, paste the link. So here we have the link. Let me just zoom it out so we can see the full thing, since this is too much zoomed in. So here it is. We have the link right here to our page. And all we want to do is actually use it as a dot read. Since this we can con we can actually uh, interpret as a file. So we want to want to do is actually read from it, read from it, and actually use the decodation. Since the UTF is the is the well known encoding for the websites. Let me just go right here and zoom this a little bit more out so you can see everything as well as I do. So here it is. Now the letters might be a little bit small, but don't worry. As soon as we start coding something else, I will make sure to zoom it in. And right now, this is the entire uh, line that we need to specify in order to open this password, this file that is on the GitHub page. So we paste the string. So everything in these brackets will be a string. We use the UTF encoding and we read from the link that we specified between the brackets. So all we have to do right now is actually read from that link. So for every password in this password list, we need to first of all split it from the new line since if I go back to my Firefox, you can see that all of these passwords are one beneath another, which means that all of these passwords actually have a new line, a character which is a slash backslash n, which in Python stands for the new line. So in order to do that, what we need to do is specify here for i, which will be our variable, over which we will iterate in the loop for i in pass list dot split and we want to split the password list everywhere where we find the new line character since that will mean that we will split it after each password so we want to split it after the new line character and for every password what we want to do is perform the hex digest function which will actually make a SHA-1 hash from that string password. So we want to use a hash guess, which will be our guess of the password, equals hash lib dot SHA-1. Since we are using the SHA-1 hash as we specified to the user, now you don't need to use the SHA-1, you can use MD5, SHA-512 of any type of hash you want. And we want to make sure that this type of hash is the bytes. Now, what this will do, since we are actually specifying the password list from the internet, we need to use the bytes function on our password, and we need to encode it with the UTF-8, which is the standard uh, encoder on the website pages. Now, all we are left to do right now is specify the hex digest function, which will make the uh, SHA-1 hash from our string. So, hex digest. And right now our hash guess should have a SHA-1 hash from the certain password that we are iterating over. All we want to do is now check if this hash guess, guess, so if hash guess is equal to SHA-1 hash, what we want to do is basically print the password in the, in, uh, basically in plain text. So we will just do it like this, the password is and then let's add the string from our i variable now maybe you are confused by the i variable so i'll just use password right here i will change it right here to also be a password so if hash gets equals and we want the string of the password so this should actually work i believe uh, we will print this and then we want to actually quit the program itself since we found the password. So 
we can quit. And we want to type here else. Or else if, since I want to specify the... Oh no, we can actually just use else, doesn't really matter. We can just type here print, use a minus, password, guess. And when we can concat the string from the password, so we can do something like this. And what we want to do is actually add the plus, so plus doesn't match. So let us make a space, does not match, trying next, and then three dots. So what we can do is something like this. And if it finishes everything right here, what we can do is just print password not in password list. So, if this is coded correctly, which I'm having a little bit of a uh, second guessing about this line, but we will check it soon enough, we should have uh, a successfully, we should successfully actually try to guess the SHA-1 hash value or the string value of a SHA-1 hash with this password list right here. So let us save this. Let us save it. chmod plus sex SHA-1 hash dot py. And let me just check the, for example, fifth password, which is, or let's use the baseball. So let's use the baseball, which is around 10th password from the beginning. We will copy it and we will use our hasher to get the SHA-1 hash. So in order to check what the SHA-1 hash first of all is, let us see which one it will it be by the from the beginning. So it will be the second one. So let us just use the hasher that we coded in the previous video. So hasher, enter string to hash and we want to paste the baseball. We press enter and this one right here should be the SHA-1 hash of the baseball. So let's copy it copy the SHA-1 hash and let us run our our actual uh, SHA-1 guesser, so SHA-1 hash.py if hash guess equals OK, so this is a standard mistake I make. As always you cannot have equal right here, you need to have double equal, so add another equal right here. Let us try once again. No module named URL lib Okay, so we are missing L right here, so it has to be URL library dot request, so URL lib, it has to have two L, so make sure to specify that correctly as well. These are just some of the minor mistakes. Enter SHA-1 hash value, we paste it, we enter, we let this run, and we can see that it really fast found the correct answer. So password guessing does not match, it tried to guess all of these passwords, and the password is baseball, and then it quit the program. So what we need to fix right now is first of all this space right here. So we want password guess and then to add a space so we can see correct passwords. And we can also add the actual colorization of these statements right here. So let us go right here, sha one hashpy First of all, let me find the space that we need to add. So it is right here, just that space right here. And we can actually import the from turn color, import colored. So what we will do is we will print the correct password as always in the green. So we will use colored, open another bracket. And then after this, what we want to use is green, close bracket. Let me just see if this is enough. So, okay, so these three brackets open, three brackets closed. We want to do the same right here. Just we want to print this in the red. So colored, open brackets. Password guess string password does not match. Trying next, we need to add the comma and then red. Add another bracket and this should be it. So if we save this and we run our program once again, SHA-1 hash value, we paste it right here. We can see it finish, finishes relatively fast. Let's see how long it will take to actually guess the last password in this list. So let us scroll all the way down. And let's use the Brady. 
So we will see how long it will take for it to iterate over, I believe, 10,000 passwords to see how long it will take for it to find the SHA-1 hash. So in order to first of all get the SHA-1 hash, we need to run our hasher.py, but not with Python 2, we need to run it with Python 3. We paste the Brady right here, which is the string that is, or the password that is last in the passwords.txt file. And the SHA-1 hash will be the second one right here, since that is what we specified in our hasher program. And right now what we want to do is first of all run the SHA-1 hash.py. We enter this right here, we press enter, we can see it is brute forcing, and we can see that in under one second it finished all 10,000 passwords, and it found that the password is Brady. So this works really fast, it can guess up to 10 or 15,000 passwords per second, so this is really good. Uh, of course, if you use a more complicated hash value, this will take a little bit longer, but don't worry, it will not be that noticeable to you. Uh, so we successfully coded our uh, SHA-1 hash guesser, so we opened the file from the internet, we read from it, we hashed all of the passwords in that file, we compared to the hash value that the user specified, and then we actually uh, printed if that hash value match. So that will be about it for this video. What we will do in the next one is we will actually try to perform the MD5 brute forcer, which is the hash type, uh, which is the shortest one in our hasher.py program. It is the one that is shortest, so it will be the fastest thing to brute force, and you will see it in the next video. So hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!